Hello and welcome to another video on significant figures and in this video we'll be looking at rounding to one, two and three significant figures. So hopefully you watched the previous video and if you did you should now be able to identify significant figures and to understand what they are and why we use them. So we're just going to apply that now to rounding and this process is very similar to rounding to decimal places. As long as we can identify which digits in our number are significant then we should be good to go. So let's have a look at the first one, 9,433, and we're going to round that to one significant figure. So the first thing to do is identify what the first significant figure is, and our first significant figure is the 9. Okay, So it's the first non-zero number. Now, just like we're rounding to decimal places, we look at the one next to or to the right of that number. Okay, So I've just drawn a line here, and we look at the 4. Now, if this number is less than 5, we round this number down. If this number is greater than or equal to 5, we round this number up. So because it's less than 5, we would round this down. So this would stay at a 9, so that would be 9,000. And we need to make sure we keep those zeros, okay, the 4, the 3, and the 3, we just keep those as zeros. We don't just remove them, okay, it's not just 9. We need to make sure that we keep those zeros in to maintain um, the value of the number. So if we look at the next one, so we're going to round this number again to two significant figures. So the 9 was our first significant figure, the 4 is our second significant figure. So just like before, we look to the digit to the right of the 4, and because that is less than 5, we round this down. So this will stay at 9,400. Okay, And the last one, round into three significant figures. So that's our first, that's our second, this is our third significant figure. So let's draw a line and look at the one to the right of it. And just like before, this is less than 5, so this number gets rounded down, or these, these values, uh, these digits would stay the same value. So it would be 9, 4, 3, and then we need to obviously put a 0 on the end, so 9,430. So now I've gone through the first one, I encourage you to pause the video and see if you can round all of these numbers to 1, 2, and 3 significant figures. Okay, so I'm assuming you've paused the video and had a go at that, so let's go through these. So the first one, well, this is our first significant figure, the 2. So we look to the digit to the right, that is less than 5, so this number gets rounded down, so it would be 2,000. Okay, the next one, this is our second significant figure, so let's draw a line here, and we look at the 9. This time, this is greater than 5, so we would round this number up. Okay, so this would become a 5, so our number would be 2,500. And then the last one, this is our third significant figure, so we look at the 6. Now, again, that's greater than 5, so we'd round this number up, so this would go to a 10. So this 4 would be rounded up to a 5, so it would be 2,500. So you can see it's exactly the same when we round to three significant figures compared to when we rounded to two significant figures. Okay, let's have a look at number 3, and the third one, 3.226, should I say. So the 3, that's our first significant figure. So we look at the 2, that is less than 5, so this stays at 3, so it's just 3. And then uh, 2 significant figures, so that is our second significant figure. So we look at the 2, that is less than 5, so this stays at 3.2. And finally, our third significant figure is the 2, so we look at the 6 next to it, that's bigger than 5, so this number would be rounded up to a 3, so it'd be 3.23. Okay, um, so if you have got any wrong at the moment, just um, pause and, and see where you went wrong on those. Okay, the next one, 7.0078. Well, again, this is our first significant figure. So if we look at the zero, well, that's definitely less than five. So this number will be rounded down to a seven. So it'll just stay at seven. The next one, we put a line down here because this is our second significant figure. Now, zero, again, that's less than five. So this number would stay at a zero, but we need to include it. We need to say 7.0. And the reason why is because we're saying that we're rounding to two significant figures. One, two. These are our two significant figures. So although these numbers have the same value, here we're being more precise than before. Okay, Here we're actually rounding to the nearest tenth, whereas here we're only rounding to the nearest whole number. So if we have a look at the next one, this is our third significant figure, so we look at the one to the right of it, that is greater than 5, so this number would be rounded up to a 1, so it would be 7.01. Okay, 
Now the next one is where a few people may have stumbled slightly. Now our first significant figure is not the zero. Okay, any leading zeros do not count as significant. And that's what we recapped in the previous video. Our first significant figure is actually the nine. So that's our first significant figure. So let's look to the one to the right of the nine. That is less than five, so this will stay at a nine, so it will still be 0 0.9. A lot of people would have put one there. They would have rounded this uh, zero up to a one, but no, this is not significant, this first zero. Okay, the next one, two significant figures. So this is our second significant figure. So now we look at the three, that is less than five, so this would stay at 0 0.90. And again, we need to include that extra zero at the end. And our last one, this is our first significant figure, uh, sorry, our third significant figure. So we look at the four, again, that's less than five, so this will stay at 0 0.903. Okay, let's do one more. So our first significant figure is the nine. So let's look at this nine, that is greater than five, so this would round up to a 10. So that'd be 10 and then 10,000. We need to add those extra zeros on. And the next one. This is our second, so let's look at the zero. That's less than five, so this would stay at 9,900. And last but not, by no means least, this zero here, this is our third significant figure, so we look at the nine, that is greater than five, so this would be rounded up to a one, so this whole number would be rounded up to 9,910. So hopefully that was useful. And the only thing just to be aware of is this one here and just remembering that any leading zeros do not count as significant. Okay, if we've got zeros in between a number, they are significant, but any leading zeros are not counted as significant. Thanks for watching.